The next type of polymorphism that we have is method overriding which is nothing but your runtime polymorphism. So what happens in this kind of a polymorphism where we say method overriding? This kind of a method it allows you to declare a method in a subclass which is have already been declared in your parent class. That is nothing but a concept of inheritance. The methods that you have declared in your parent class can now be inherited in your subclass. And this concept was also there in method overloaded. But what is the difference? How you can declare a method or how you can inherit a method from your parent class? Here it says that now when a subclass is trying to inherit a method which has already been declared or defined in your parent class can has its specific implementations that is you can use the same method for an example you have declared a display method in your parent class now you want to define this particular method display method you can provide your own specific implementations at the subclass level it is not necessary that you need to have or define the same thing that you have defined in your parent class then it says that it is an ability to define the behavior that specific to subclass type that is what we spoke the implementation that you define at the subclass level it is spec uh, specific to your child class and nothing to do with your parent class but what is this all about it is nothing but your dynamic binding what is this technique this is a technique which allows you to assign the base class reference to your child class object Again repeating, what is this technique all about? It allows you to assign your super parent or base class reference to the child class object. How do we do that? We need to understand certain rules to understand how we can program with the help of method overriding concept. So you have certain rules. It says that the list of the argument or the type of the arguments that you have defined must be same it cannot differ like in case of method overloading you could have defined different type of parameters or different type of argument or list or the sequence of arguments whereas in case of method overriding the list and the type of argument should be same and then the access modifier that you specify at the subclass or the child level should not be more restrictive than that you have declared in your parent class like if you have declared public here it can be either public or protected but nothing else and if you have defined a method as private static or final at your parent class level then those methods cannot be overridden at your child class level next if you define any abstract methods in your class then that particular class becomes an abstract method right so now if a class is extending any abstract class or implementing any interface then this class has to define all those methods that has been defined under that until unless this class is an abstract class there are certain other rules which says that this allows the unchecked exceptions and not a checked exceptions where it says it can throw an unchecked exceptions because this may be defined at the parent level but you cannot throw an checked exception because that may be at a broader level which cannot be overridden next in this case the constructors cannot be overridden now let us see with the help of an example what is it all about we say that we have created a class where we want to display certain data then you have created another class which extends from this person class and then this employee class will again extend from another class and then you define how do you define what happened how an class or base class reference is created and then assigned to your child class object how this reference happens so let us execute this program practically to understand each of these steps how does you assign a base class reference to a child class object. Let us now execute this program practically. In this example, we should learn about the concept of overriding. In our previous video example, we have seen the concept of overloading which allowed you to 
use the same method within the same class but with different number of arguments but what is this overriding how can you use so let us see with the help of this example first we have created a class called person and it has a method called display which says that this is a person class next i have created a class called student which extends the behavior from your person class and in this extension we have again redefine the display class so the concept of overriding says that you can extend the behavior of your parent class that is you can call the method of your parent class and provide your own implementation that is it is not necessary that you have to provide what was written in your parent class next i have created a third class called employee class and then this employee class extends the behavior from student and now again i have redefined the display method in this employee class so what is the main concept of this overriding overriding says that you can call the method you can reuse the method but the type of parameters that is the number of argument it has and the return type that is provided in the method should be of the same type you cannot define it again let us see here if i say i want to provide a string of c so will this allow me no while you run the program it will throw you an error right then how do you call this you have created a class called test in its main method let us call each of these methods from the different class so first i have printed that this is my test class and then i have first instantiated my person class and then i call the display method of my person class similarly again i have created a student class instantiation did i do that no in order to call or in order to use the concept of overriding you have to create an object reference of your base class and then provide it to your student class that is you create an object of your base your child class and provide it reference to your parent class so what have i done here is your parent class you have created its reference and then you're providing it to the student is that the way no you need to see the other way that is you are creating an object of your parent class and then passing a reference to your parent class because this child class is trying to inherit the behavior from your parent class and therefore with the help of this then you call the display method similarly again where student is redefining the display method which is extending from your so and so class that is your employee class is redefining the display method by extending the behavior from your student class in those cases again you define or you create an object of your base class and then pass the reference of your employee class through this object of your parent class and therefore you call the display method of your employee class with the help of the object of your parent class so let us execute this program and now as you can see it says that test class person class i am now a student i am now an employee that is at the different stages of its life cycle it behaves differently that is when i just call the person class it displayed i am a person class and when i have provided the reference of a student class to a person class object it says i am a student and then i am an employee so this is how you use the concept of overriding